Good evening, sorry about that, it's all a bit late. I was a bit um, sorting myself out and all of a sudden I saw the time. And uh, there you go, so yes, good evening, good evening everyone. Good evening Sharon, Carol, Ron, um, Ronnie, Sue, Helen, Kathy, nice to see you. Um, yes, it's me again, second time this week, yeah, because um, Father Taman's had a bit of a break this week, so um, Father Vince has done most of the others, I did, um, when was it, Tuesday and tonight. Um, so uh, yes, here we are, good evening, Friday, good evening Tony, good evening Mark, good evening Jane. Yes, you know who I am, I'm Dave, Dave Jenner, one of the uh, church wardens at, at uh, St George's Church. Um, welcome to Friday night, thoughts for the night. Um, yes, I have uh, my Friday night beer, Doom Bar, thank you very much. Hope you have yours too. I went down the off license earlier on, fancy that. Last couple of days I've been um, a bit busy. Um, I've been painting the, well, I've started uh, the kitchen of um, Margaret and Den, my in laws. Um, I say Margaret and Den, or is it Den and Margaret? I, I was thinking about that earlier on. People say David and Jane, or is it Jane and David like tonight? We have Ron and Carol, or is it Carol and Ron? Sue, Sue and Colin. Co ah. I'll leave that to you to decide. Is it the male first or the uh, the female? But there you go, I'll leave that to you. But uh, no, but I made a start on their kitchen, painted the ceiling and a uh, wall and started on the cupboard. So uh, yes, a bit achy tonight, but um, I had a shower, I feel a bit better. So I needed a, a drop of ale to keep me going till 10. So yes, what a week it's been. Um, yes, as we know on, um, we had the government news on Monday about coming out of lockdown, all the the dates in stages, and hopefully, there you go, I'm online. If everything goes to plan, hopefully we can all be back in church for Easter, but I uh, can't promise anything, but hopefully, all I can say is, um, say your prayers to make this happen. So hopefully it's that next stage, isn't it? March the 29th, which is the... Um, would you uh, unbelievable it's the start of holy week it's palm sunday the day before um holy week up until good friday and easter day um so hopefully we will um just to lighten the before we get into the uh, the business end as we call it um got some more funny council complaints to share with you so i'm sure we can all have a, a laugh and a grin i've even lit me candle as well so i'll just move that safely to the side um, and this is the first one. This is obviously when people have written to the council to, to have a complaint. This is to let you know that our lavatory seat is broken and we can't get BBC Two. Well, there you go. Right, number two. 50% of the walls are damp, 50% have crumbling plaster and 50% are ju just plain filthy. I think the old maths uh, went a bit wrong there. And this is a bit of a, don't want to put you off your tea if you're having it now. And this is, it's the dog mess I, I find hard to swallow. Mm, yes, enough of that. And our last one, our toilet seat is broken in half and now it is in three pieces. Maths again, but there you go. I thought I'd share you with them. They're the, how can I say, a few cleaner ones, but uh, there you go. So I hope that cheered you up on a Friday night. And yes, unbelievable. February ends this weekend already. Um, and yes, March the 1st, unbelievable, already is on Monday. And of course, it's St David's Day. Yes, I have my own day. And I'm going to try this to you. Um, I'll be careful saying this. is Dwight Glimwin Duel. And I will probably get someone will shoot me. That is, that means Happy St David's Day in Welsh. And hopefully I've said that right. I do apologise to anyone who thinks I've just made a muck up of that. But um, I won't say it again. Once is enough. And as I say, that means Happy St David's Day. So if you want me to, you can find that, and then you can say that to someone on Monday. So uh, just a couple of hellos. Yes, good evening, Margaret. Good evening, Lynn. And yes, good evening, good evening, Helen. Um, so yes, so try that one, put, yeah, try that one on Monday. 
And uh, yes, well, just a bit on that. St. David was a bishop in Wales. Uh, yes, he was actually Welsh, because obviously a lot of um, saints, I mean, St. George, he was a, uh, a Roman soldier. I think he was actually born in Turkey. And um, yeah, so not everyone is from their own country. Um, and he was made a saint in 1123 by the, the Pope at that time, um, Cal Caldius, I think that's how you say it. And he's got his own place. St. David's Cathedral, the St. David's Cathedral is in Pembrokeshire, and it stands on the site of the monastery that St. David founded in around um, 550. Um, it is buried in the cathedral. So there you go. So as I said earlier, can't believe it, Monday, uh, on Monday, um, March starts already. And I just got a few things about the month of March and the... Uh, um, what it what it means etc and a few things that go with um, the busy month of March um, yes the name of March was named um, would you believe it from the Roman god of war Mars and that's how they get March um, and I think in Roman times March was the start of the year January and February didn't exist at the time but um, they came on later when the I think some Gregorian calendar and something else it changed so um, yeah March originally was the first month of the year but it, I don't think there were 12 months in them days so and traditionally it was the time of year um, for the Romans they resumed military campaigns they had stopped during the winter so when it got to spring March that's when they, they started again and as I said in the, the Roman calendar March was the first month of the year and it was thought to be the first day of spring, so the start of new beginnings, which, um, yeah, which is uh, we can see now. When spring starts, um, new flowers such as daffodils and crocuses are out in uh, bloom. The lambs are born and the March hare. Ah, about the March hare. Because they, they say, you know, when they say mad as a March hare, um, they say that the... Um, when you might have seen a, a picture or something of it, Mar uh, the hares, they sort of box, and basically it's a male, male chasing the female, and they box. Um, and they're saying they're all excited, <laughs> careful. Um, they're saying, and the saying goes out, as mad as a March hare, when everyone's oh, hey, a bit excited, going a bit funny. Um, so yes, and I, I'll go back to that bit on the daffodils. If you, um, if you are local and you're ever... I mean, I know I saw Sue Webb's picture earlier on, the lovely uh, daffs in her garden. But um, we've been lucky. We, um, I probably might have said this before, we planted uh, back in October, November, four, four big sacks of daffodils in the um, Garden Remembrance um, along the two long walls. Um, and yes, I believe they're all, most of them are out. And there's still some shorter ones because they were different types, which is great. They're not all out at the same time. But uh, even the uh, the snow we had a couple of weeks ago, where they were starting to come out, didn't uh, affect them. And when the snow's cleared, all the crocuses are out as well. So um, if you ever pass him, please have a look. Uh, it's a lovely sign. Hopefully um, your gardens are doing as, as well as that, which is, is fantastic. So, yeah, we know. I mean, the, the weather today we've had, um, which has been fantastic. Long may it continue. Um, and there's another saying about March, beware the Ides of March. Ides, Ides is spelled I-D-E-S. Um, and it's, it was the day of the full moon, back in Roman times, a lot of things come from uh, friends, the Romans. Um, but it was on the 15th of March when, as we know the old story, Julius Caesar was killed in 44 BC. And I think the Ides of March is used in, in the, the short Shakespeare play. But... There is a fact about the Romans. The Ides were, it was a, a time, a particular time in a month, and it was called the Ides of March. And actually, when Julius Caesar was killed in, on the 15th of March, um, it marked the end of the Roman Republic and the start of the Roman Empire when the next um, emperor had, I call it, full power, like a dictatorship. And that's when the, the Roman Empire... We know the Republic as we know it, and that was when it happened. So, yes, moving on in, into March, 
we then move on to the, the 17th. Does anyone know what happens on the 17th? I'm sure I saw Kathy earlier on. I'm sure she would know what uh, day it is on the 17th of March. Um, yeah, it's just another couple of hellos. Sharon, Helen, Tony. If I've said that before, I do apologise. Um, yes, and of course, it is St. Patrick's Day. Um, when people normally, uh, they wear a shamrock. Because, would you believe it, the Saint, um, St. Patrick, used the free leaves to explain what we know as the Trinity, which is the Father, Son and Holy Ghost. I didn't know that, but that's what I did my homework on. And um, yes, well done. Thank you, Carol, Jane. Uh, oh, good evening, good evening, Maria. Yes, it's St. Patrick's Day. And um, I'm not, well done, Kathy. I know you're in Dublin. You'll get a lovely, you have a bank holiday. How about for St George's Day? You know, I know we've been trying over these years, different governments. How about having us for, I don't know, I don't know, do they have one St Andrew's Day or St David's Day on Monday? Do the Welsh have a bank holiday? I'm not too sure. Let me know. But um, I know for many years, which is well, good luck to them, Ireland has had St Patrick's Day as a bank holiday. And I'm sure um, we follow, don't we, on um, April the 23rd. We are St George's Church, so let's have a, can't we have our own bank holiday, but, um, uh, no, but there you go. But um, yes, we'll try to get one for St George. Good evening, Maureen, you're watching, nice to see you. So yes, um, lastly in March, moving on to the end of the month, as I said just now, the, well, the 28th is Palm Sunday, um, which... Um, which will be again, we'll have new palms, as you know, recently when we had, um, said last week we had our Ash Wednesday, uh, Ash Wednesday service and uh, loads and loads of people, which was fantastic, reserve, returned their palms from last year, um, which were burnt by Father Tame, and if you saw it online, for the ashes. So the new ones will be um, given out and hopefully, as, as I said earlier on, we are back in um, church um, that week, obviously with restrictions, um, and hopefully the the new palms will be given out, so you have your one for for this year, which will be um, fantastic. Um, so, but to and obviously, I'd like to pre warn you. I know it's a little while yet, but put, I'm sure you have it in your calendar. Um, that day, that Sunday, is when the clocks go forward. Um, we have spring, but officially it's the start of spring. British summer time um, and, and that day because as we say when we get into spring we move we move forward we spring up spring forward as the pun might go so um, yes so that is that is that is when put that in your diaries that is that when yeah obviously we we horribly we lose that hour of sleep don't we but um, if um, lovely day but we love that because that means we'll have an extra daylight at night and if the weather's lovely um, like it was this time last year, um, it will be a, a bonus. So, um, yes, yeah, so that's um, a bit of March. And before I continue, I I will play a, only a snippet of it. I, I did a bit of hunting and I found a song called The Ides of March. Um, but um, I will, I'll play a bit of an intro for it because it's a bit of a... How can I say, but what they call heavy metal song? Um, yeah, I will name the group when I tell you, but I have another song after from a, a band. I've got a sort of snippet of two. Um, a band that I've always loved, not really to do with March, it's just that I love them. I like them. Back in eight, eight, late 80s and early 90s, um, I saw them live with Jane at the O2, um, and I know Jane has seen them with Rebecca since. Um, I think it's one of those bands who were having their, I call it their final tour, but they seem to, as a lot of bands do, and artists, they seem to have another one and another one, like Frank Sinatra, isn't it? Never ending the retirement tour or whatever. So, um, yes, and then I've got, a, I've got um, today's Church of England daily prayer, which we will have um, with a normal prayer. So, um, yes, yeah, so all I can say is, um, yes, good look forward to Monday, St. David's Day, and I'm sure you will um, like that, and all have a, a good weekend.
but before I will play this, it is literally the song is called The Ides of March. Um, but as I say, it's, um, it's a bit of a, a rocky one. So I will turn my phone up. I've got it on full volume. Oh, that's the advert. I do apologise. Bear with me. Here we go. I told you it was a bit rocky, if you can hear that. I won't play too much of it. Yes, it's called The Ides of March. It's by that... It's, I, I know them. Iron Maiden, you might have heard of them. Is it Bruce Dickinson who's the lead singer? Yes, it's a bit of a... I mean, it's a bit of a, an instrumental song, but I suppose... Um, I know my nephew, Chris. Chris Jenner. He loves his um, sort of... Uh, sort of rocky, heavy, heavy sort of music, so it would be um, right up his street, so, yeah, so, I think we're, um, we're doing away with that, so, bear with me, so, yeah, that was, um, it was called The Ides of March, um, it's a, it's a sort of instrumental track on a Iron Maiden album, so there you go, if you do your hunting, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, Linwa, yeah, we should have a day off for St George's Day. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. Yeah. So, but um, this month, happy St George... Uh, sorry, St David's Day, and on to the 17th, happy St Patrick's Day to our Irish and the Welsh friends on Monday. So, I will... Um, I have the, as I say, the, the prayer for um, today's... Um, on the... Um, Oh, sorry, I'm too early there. I do apologise. I pressed the wrong button. Anyone? Oh, it's only beat the intro there. Did they know what that was? Um, so, yes, if we can bow our heads in prayer. And this is, as I say, the prayer for today on F Friday, the February the 26th. Almighty God, whose son Jesus Christ fasted 40 days in the wilderness and was tempted as we are, yet without sin. Give us grace to discipline ourselves in obedience to your Spirit. And as you know our weaknesses, so may we know your power to save. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Oh. Before I carry on, Ronnie, uh, uh, you know, that there used to be a programme, didn't they? Beat the intro. She knew that that was Stars by Simply Red, about two seconds worth. Oh, Carol, Carol said there was a group called the Ides of March as well. Thank you. So, sorry, must get back to our, our prayers. So that, as I say, today's prayer on the 26th, Friday the 26th. So... We continue. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. And the Lord bless us and watch over us. And the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. And the Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. And we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. So before the two snippets of songs um, have a peaceful evening and uh, a weekend and if you're online on Sunday I will see you I'll be in church on Sunday so I hope to see you online then and uh, we'll have a, a pleasant week and hopefully the uh, weather's kind to us and have, have a happy St. Father uh, St. Father okay right a minute St. David's Day on Monday on the 1st of March.
So yes, yeah, so I've got two songs by yeah, the band you know is simply red, excellent. I mean um Mick Hart who's a singer, brilliant voice, and um I will play a bit of um the ones I was gonna play. Here we go. Bear with me. If you know this one, this is, um, as Rolly said, Stars by Simply Red. Get to the chorus and I'll play my other favourite Simply Red song. People, get you up on the dance floor. Good night, God bless, have a safe one. Good night all.